Did we play the audio for you of Water Car Guy? No. Oh my God, he's our poor favorite Water Car guy. guy. Do we have that? We this that got fast? me agreeing with fucking Bill Burr on his stupid conspiracy shit. It got break? me agreeing with him. All right, Water Car Guy. After the break. Yeah, we got to discuss this with Patrice, Patrice a little bit. This is one of our favorite things uh, of recent months. Okay. Guy figured out how to like run cars on water. Yeah, just he it. runs cars. And, and and you just got pour water in. Is that not better for you? Yeah. Well, apparently is not, not. Is that not uh, sexy sounding to you? It sounds uh, great. Water, it's simplest thing. Well, there well, it is. Pour it in your tank. Away you go. Let's keep it at that. We'll do it after the break. All I right. think Patrice will be pretty amazing. This guy's great. Like good old Stan. I want to hear some of Stan Myers quotes. Myers or whatever. Yeah, Stan Myers. After He's the break. great. Oh my God. <laughs> so, the news story itself <laughs> oh is classic. God, is a... It deserves a replay. <laughs> yeah. A this revisit. Is this the first break since we've been in. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Shit. Look at us. All right. Uh, get Why CR? What does CR stand for? Control room. Oh, oh. that ain't working. That's silly. That's just silly. Every day I have that same problem because I'm like, CR, what the fuck? Control room? CR? Eh. No, I don't like eh. it. Eh, how about a little sign that says monitor? <laughs> <laughs> monitor. We got to think way too much every fucking day. I can't be bothered with trying to figure out codes. CR. Mars does a great job, though. <laughs> uh, Patrice, so uh, we weren't even going to go down this path. By the way, I want to acknowledge the, uh, the listeners out there that help kind of kind of steer the show and and they don't even know they're steering the show at times because mm -hmm. you don't get the credit but all of a sudden like someone said what about stan meyer and it and it's perfect for the, the yeah session absolutely and there's a lot of listeners out there that really truly um help steer the show and and i just want to thank them they uh don't get much credit and they're nameless and faceless but you really do help thank, thank you for that thank you so stan meyer there uh patrice he's this guy what's wrong what's wrong Where's your mic? Oh, you're over there. Yes. Oh, there he is. All Sorry. right. Okay. I'm used to turning on Jimmy's mic, but uh, Jimmy's mic is over there, and there's just a spotlight on it today. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> a little spotlight on Jimmy's mic. Yeah. In honor of the fact that uh, he's no longer with the show. Uh, Patrice. Yes. Stan Meyer. Okay. This guy is a classic. The guy comes up with the water-powered car in 1998, a mere 10 years ago. And you might be asking yourself, well, why aren't we <laughs> driving? Why, why isn't everybody <laughs> driving around in water cars? The water-powered car. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of water. <laughs> <laughs> why did someone give him that before we started? Because now he knows uh, what happened to Stan Meyer. Oh, no. Well, no, seriously, I'm I'm just. It's a very interesting. We story. should play the clips. All right, yeah. here's the clip. Uh, I Patrice. certainly didn't. On the water-powered car. I mean, this was <clears throat> not some kook. He figured it out, and he wanted the world to know. Yep. So he talked to a reporter. Well, this is a news report on uh, the water-powered car. In the top of our news here at six o'clock: an age-old dream becoming a reality. A local inventor has discovered a way. Hear this: to use water. Run your car. It's a major breakthrough that will no doubt make motorists happy. And as Ralph Robinson explains, the Pentagon is also showing lots of interest in this project. Whoa! Water has always been considered a precious commodity, but Stan Meyer's invention may make it even more valuable. He has developed what's called a water fuel cell. It has taken the place of his old gas tank. The water fuel cell breaks down water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is used to run his dune buggy. And I don't care if you use rainwater, well water, city water, ocean water. If you don't have any fresh water, go ahead and use snow. If you don't have any snow available to you, then use salt water because there's no adverse effect to the fuel cell. And if it comes down to it, you can just pee into the gas tank or you can spit into it. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Just get but it. You just don't even need water. <laughs> just get it moist. It runs on air. Yeah. <laughs> Cry into it. Blow your nose into it. Whatever. <laughs> and it and I, we played this clip. Uh, I think Danny found it. And we went, guy's so dead. Dead, dead. The, the, when, when, when the newscaster goes, and the Pentagon's even interested, it was like, oh, oh no. no. Shit. Oh, no. Not the Pentagon, part of the Pentagon that we all hear about. Yeah. It's that little part right in the middle somewhere. Yeah. In the deep, deep in the Pentagon, an underground maybe. Underground. Where, where they go, oh, shit, another guy 
figured out how to do the water Basically, car thing. Basically, if you're in the Pentagon and you see a door and you go, where does that door lead to? And everyone goes, oh, you, you just don't Doesn't. want to know. It's, there is a department of guys that invent water cars. Yeah. And there's a special like department that takes care of those guys. And uh, he was he was taken care of. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Oh, let me finish doing this shit. All right, here's the hmm. second part of it. Oh. Meyer started working on this project four years ago. He's not a scientist. He isn't even a chemist. In fact, he never no. graduated from college. No. Myers was determined, he says, to design something to protect this country from oil embargoes. And we have calculated that if we take the dune buggy from Los Angeles to New York, we would roughly use 22 gallons of water. The Pentagon flew a lieutenant colonel in last week to look at Myers' invention. Bet they There's did. talk of possibly using it in the Star Wars defense program and to run army tanks. Myers is currently perfecting a water fuel cell for cars. It will cost about fifteen hundred dollars. He says it won't need any maintenance and you won't have to replace it. It'll be at least two years before the fuel system goes into mass production. The data happens to be one the fuel industry hates, but it'll put a smile on the face of those who've had to say at one time or another, fill her up. You know, the I other, got a bad feeling. A about lieutenant this colonel was it? Yeah, that visited him from the Pentagon for the Star Wars. Hey, program. they might want to oh. use some of that technology. Hey, and, man, and you, don't have to, you never have to replace the engine, so you're you're, you're taking the engine guy oh, and putting him on the unemployment line. That's what I was talking about with the whole economy thing. So now Great. You have to build that, uh, so did they find his guy? Don't have to keep building engines for the most part. A. Uh, a, well, a what do you think happened? Sleeping pills glued to his <laughs> back of his wrist. Why? Why would he want to kill himself? And and a handwritten note. Oh, a handwritten suicide note. What? Do you Maybe think? in the movies it happens like yeah, that. Stop. This is real life, Patrice. <laughs> That's stupid movie crap, right? Oh Jesus. <laughs> you got any more on him? Was there a watery knoll somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Even the Pentagon is interested. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy. Eh, eh. And the red alert one, and they went to DEFCON. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you ever want the Pentagon interested in your life, ever, oh, ever, ever. No, in what you're doing. Ever, And ever, this is just some ever, guy ever. who stumbles upon a way to run his car yes. on water. Yeah. That's me, it. Me and a good friend of mine talk about these type of things all the time, and I go, I go. here's my the thing that keeps me from being the, the biggest conspiracy theorist ever, mm -hmm. is that, Okay, let's say this this poor guy it, he invents this fucking thing that's that becomes amazing, and you you go there's guys out there. I mean everything's run by people. So these there's some guy with you know four fourteen stars on his on his jacket goes listen fellas you three men in black go and throw this guy down an <laughs> elevator shaft, <laughs> and they go yes sir and just. Like do it. I don't believe in that much lack of humanity. Mm. Just like the, I don't believe there's aliens ever were here ever. I don't believe in it just because I don't believe in people's ability to be that in hmm. non robotic I right. mean, or people's ability to be that robotic where they go. Um, okay, there's a fucking creature from another planet. I am a human. Something from another world is in that room, but I'm just going to keep it mums the fucking word. <laughs> Maybe because if you say something, like that. those three people <laughs> come to your house and throw you down an elevator shaft. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it, there's guys that are just willing to just take a guy that could change the world mm -hmm. and just go, yes, sir, I will fucking cut his goddamn eyebrows well, off. Why don't we just say what happened well, to uh I want to I like when we did this the last time and I know if it's this is like deja vu for a lot of people but we're going to replay the audio and Anthony's going to hit the bell every time there's a problem here every <laughs> every time there's a problem and by problem I mean just any time something said that perhaps could make the, might uh, get this guy in a little bit of a jam. How about this? Uh, it would make the men in black uh, guys a little uncomfortable. A little uncomfortable, All right, right. Patrice? Right. Okay. It makes it a little more fun to listen to this. Okay. The top our news here at 6 o'clock, an age-old <laughs> dream becoming a reality. A local inventor has discovered a way, hear this, to use water to run your car. It's a major breakthrough that will no doubt make motorists happy. And as Ralph Robinson explains, the Pentagon is also showing lots of interest in this project. 
Water has always been considered a precious commodity, but Stan Meyer's invention may make it even more valuable. He has developed what's called a water fuel cell. It has taken the place of his old gas tank. The water fuel cell breaks down water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is used to run his dune buggy. I don't care if you use rainwater, well water, city water, ocean water. If you don't have any fresh water, go ahead and use snow. If you don't have any snow available to you, then use salt water because there's no adverse effect to the fuel cell. Jesus. <laughs> and right there, even if he had a chance to live with the water, because people, I mean, don't forget they sell water in a fucking bottle. So somebody's going, okay, we can. But you can't harness and control water. The, That's the problem. The beach. Right? Yeah, yeah, just going down with buckets to the beach and getting to fill up free your car fuel. So they could drive around. Mm -hmm. Oof. Oh. Myers started working on this project four years ago. He's not a scientist. He isn't even a chemist. In fact, he never graduated. Oh, man, you're not playing the game. Sorry, I had my uh, machine was all screwed up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Myers started working on this project four years ago. He's not a scientist. He isn't even a chemist. In fact, he never graduated from college. <laughs> Myers is asshole. determined, he says, to design something to protect this country from oil embargoes. And we have calculated that if we take the dune buggy from Los Angeles to New York, we would roughly use 22 gallons of water. The Pentagon flew a lieutenant colonel in last week to look at Myers' invention. There is talk of possibly using it in the Star Wars defense program and to run army tanks. Myers is currently perfecting a water fuel cell for cars. It will cost about $1,500. He says it won't need any maintenance and you won't have to replace it. It will be at least two years before the fuel system goes into mass production. The date happens will be one the fuel industry hates but it'll put a smile on the face of those who've had to say at one time or another, fill her up. Shit. Oh, good lord. <clears throat> oh, shit. <laughs> right? Oh, boy. <sighs> so, uh, now we tell you what happened to Stan Meyer. Because oh, okay. According to that news story, then by hmm. the year 2000, we should have seen some of these cars on the road. They should, we should all be driving them. Well, <clears throat> he was apparently eating dinner. <laughs> yes. At a Grove City, Ohio restaurant, when it is reported, uh, Patrice, that he jumped up from the table, yelled that he had been poisoned, and rushed out into the parking lot where he collapsed and died. It has been reported by Meyer's associates that Meyer had just secured funding for a $50 million research center near <laughs> Grove City, but there's no way to confirm or reject this uh, Holy at the moment. Holy shit. So this, so they, put, and they they probably put a Marilyn Monroe dress on. <laughs> and what was it? There was no like, there were no plans or anything, or yes. or drawings. Or yeah, we looked into it deeper. There's like no proof that he ever no came up proof. with anything. Yeah, yeah. He never. And if you get too nosy, trying to re reconstitute this guy yeah yeah like to make this thing like hey th his dream and you'll end up from you'll <laughs> fucking get visited by the minute by the lieutenant colonel from the pentagon with the sunglasses yeah yeah even a lieutenant and i'm sure the lieutenant colonel visited was like hey hello how you doing let's take a look at the why don't we take a look at uh, what you got around back Jesus. here it is blah, blah. oh and you pour the water in here is it Okay. And he didn't know he was looking at end of his life guy. <laughs> end of his life guy. It was murder. <laughs> Sam. Murder. What the fuck, man? And you don't believe, you must believe. That's the one where that Bill Burr. You must believe that the government has something to do with Bill it. Bill Burr. I think the government was does here. horrific things that we don't want to know He about. knew about this guy. Yeah. And, and when we went through this whole thing the first time, I was like, oh, my God, I'm right with you, Bill. The government... S someone in the government, at least, you know. I'm not saying the president knew you don't about think there's this. There's a cure I for the common cold in a fucking uh, one of those Jurassic Park freezers, <laughs> just there. You don't fucking think there's a cure for AIDS? If somebody said, "I found a cure for the common cold," he'd be dead as a motherfucker. You think? Yeah, because it's... the common cold is worth it. Must if you go industry, yeah, oil, car. Co the cold has to be in the top five. Yeah. So if you found a cure for that, over the counter medicine, how much money is spent fighting the yeah the common just, cold? Just fighting. That's a what cold. I was trying to tell you earlier about the economy thing. You can't just like cure the cold because a whole industry would be de you know destroyed. Well, how about the fact that we're destroyed? 
How about hmm. maybe? How about maybe we live? It's an equal uh, kind of balance, I guess. There's enough people coming in that they're going out, and we keep it. It's not like uh, the plague where everyone's yeah. dropping dead. So they keep it kind of, you know, There's even. A doctor, I forgot his fucking name. My girl knows his name, but he, he, he they have him on like um like black radio stations. They this guy comes on, and he cured AIDS. This Get motherfucker out. cured AIDS. Hey, what the fuck is his name that so, cured Dr. Um, Martin Luther King Jr.? He cured AIDS, man. <laughs> like, magic doesn't have AIDS anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, magic does. Yeah, it, it's not even traceable anymore. No one can it look. blood, right? No one, no one can see that as maybe a misdiagnosis. <laughs> like, everyone's thinking this miracle that Magic Johnson cured of AIDS. I'm just thinking misdiagnosis. Imagine the doctor. He never had it. Sorry. The doctor gave him the wrong... <laughs> Freaking info went off. No, yeah, okay, you, you got, you got, got easy ease <laughs> test results back. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> a dyslexic doctor. You got IHV. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I know the doctor. Is Dr. Uh, Cock in his ass. Ah. <laughs> no, I said you were the MVP. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck don't we embrace more of these things? Like, you got people will most likely be proven to be quacks. This guy would have been proven to be a nut job and yeah. something. But not murder him. Murder this motherfucker? Well, that's what, what he said. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of controversy surrounding that guy. So a lot of people say the whole thing was a hoax and all of that. Of course. But, oh, yeah. But then the other people go, well, well, of course he's looked at as a hoax now because they destroyed his uh, his buggy. His, his doom buggy. His doom buggy and destroyed all his uh, all the shit that he... His uh, doom buggy's in Area 51, too. They took, uh, t took th his files and everything. So you, you don't know who to believe on that one. The news believed it because they did a whole story on it. It says Wikipedia... Um, has Stan Meyer in there, and you'll see his invention is bullshit. It's a perpetual motion machine hoax. I don't know what that's about, but so what about okay? What what makes what makes people is decide? That his gadget. <laughs> what makes people decide who not to kill? And let's say the ba the guy who said I invented the battery. Why wouldn't the people who who invented uh plugs in the wall want to kill the battery motherfucker? <laughs> the battery. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like the. The, the outlet people go, we got to kill this nigga. He invented something that he, they don't need to plug in our wall, nigga. So we're going to kill the battery motherfucker. Right. Hey, oh, why doesn't the, what... the hat motherfucker I kill the know. umbrella motherfucker? That's a good question. Brian in Virginia. <laughs> Brian? Hey, Anthony. Hey. Love you guys love the show. Thanks. Hey, I saw a program on like A&E or Discovery a couple years ago, and they were talking about the guy who was in Iron Butterfly. I think he was a guitarist with a bassist, and his father was a scientist. And when the band broke up, he went to be a scientist with his father, and one of the things that they had developed was a water car. And they had done something very similar where they were making a lot of noise in the scientific community and getting a lot of attention. And then one day they just disappeared, and they weren't able to be found until yeah. somebody driving down the highway had seen a car down in the tree somewhere, and they just determined that it was an accidental car crash, but that it was always suspicious because they could never figure out why the car just happened to have gone down the trees like that. Yeah, this is, yeah, the, one of the guys from Iron Butterfly, his death uh, to this day is very suspicious. Uh, Holy was it, shit. Was it that he was working on a, a, a car um, that ran on water? I thought it was some <laughs> other invention. No, it was, uh, I, I thought he had some. some water, just like I thought. I thought it was uh, worked for the military in some capacity, like he was, there was uh, something. I don't know if it was a. Was it? A, was it a mm. water car? <laughs> he should have just kept playing that riff. Yeah. Don't 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 don't. He'll live forever. <laughs> I got a V. I don't oh, think he was. <laughs> it didn't matter much because I don't think he was an original member anyway. So. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> screw him then. I think he was one of the replacements for one of the original guys. That's what happened to Bonham. Uh, I think he was trying to invent. <laughs> A, 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 a plane that flew on peanut butter, and that motherfucker <laughs> wound the government, up dead. The government was very angry. He was working on a car that <laughs> ran on owl eyes. Owl eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I think Janis Joplin runs on cheetah heels. <laughs> That's Janis Joplin was trying to invent an apparatus. <laughs> But Chase doesn't even know the bit, you dope. You came up with Cheetah Heels. Cheetah Heels, right. Cheetah Heels yeah. Owl Eyes. They, oh, Owl we eyes. laughed at, uh, you know what the funniest one out of all that was? Oh. It was Whale, Whale Blowhole. <laughs> that you had, you cut the whale's blowhole out, and it sunk to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the whale right. was a complete waste. It Cheetah, Heels, seal Cheetah up. Heels was it. Cheetah Heels. Because we just started talking about, it, that was one of the funniest, that was oh. so funny. 
And, and, and you take away the most important. Was it the delicacies that we were looking to eat things? Yeah. It's the you, tastiest part. You just and, and the thing that they needed to live, and you cut out the blowhole, and he had no more muscles <laughs> to shut so it. <laughs> he would have to stay to the top of the water until <laughs> he just and, got tired. And, and, and birds, he would have had to take a because birds would have been sitting on him, just pecking at him, and it would have been too just much. Falling into his he would blowhole. Have went under the water and had no muscles to stop the water from. Yep. He would have sunk to the bottom and died. And we're such why we were eating blowhole eating sandwiches. This blowhole is delicious. And, and humans are so disgusting. We wouldn't even care. The rest of the well is completely. Oh, yeah, we just wouldn't waste even eat them. the rest of the world. No, no tail. No nothing. No fin. Rest tastes like shit. Just, just the blowhole just tastes good. Blow elephant hole. island. Liz is coming in. That's right. Also, Gorilla <laughs> Elbows. Thank you, Best Ready Gorilla <laughs> Elbows. <laughs>